Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So, Eminem, the GOAT, man, the GOAT. Today I'll be doing something different. I'll be checking out the Eight Mile Endless Battle. I have watched this, but I was like 10 years old and I barely remember it. I was like, you know what? Let me rewatch this now that I'm way older. So, let's go. It's been a while. Eight Mile, classic ass movie might actually sit and rewatch it because it's literally one of the most iconic movies in the world. You got it. Oh, man. I thought first against this choke artist, man. Hey, I ain't got enough time. Hey, do your thing. 45 seconds. So, Yo, please, I spent that trip. shit. Do it. I got it. Real world, okay? Yeah. Tell you something. Check this out. Check this out. Yo, this guy's a choke artist. You catch a bad one, you better off shooting yourself with Papa Doc's handgun. Climbing up this mountain, you're weak. I leave you lost without a paddle, blow the shit creep. You ain't the trick, I'm the D. You the new kid on the block, about to get slapped back to the boondock. Fucking Nazi, your squad ain't your tight. Take some real advice and form a group with vanilla ice. And what I tell you. I'm just laughing because look at the way Eminem is staring at him. He's like, hell no, dude. You're about to get served in a minute. <laughs> you better use it. This guy's a real Billy. This ain't Willie Nelson music. Train the trash. I choke you to your ass rough and have you looking foolish like Cheddar Bob when he shot himself. Silly rabbit, I know why they call you that. Cause you follow future like you got carrots up his ass crap. And when you wrap it up, that's when you got jacked up. Up and up stupid like Tina Turner when she got smacked up. I crack your shoulder blade. You'll get dropped so hard that Elvis will start turning in his brain. I don't know how they let you out in the dark. You need to take your white ass back across eight miles to the trailer park. No, no, he brought up the trailer thing. No, no, dude, no. <laughs> Rabbit. It's your turn, baby. 45 seconds. Let this motherfucker feel it. Alright? Yo, DJ, spin that shit. Hey, yo. This guy raps like his parents jerked him. He sounds like Eric Sermon, the generic version. This whole crowd looks suspicious. It's all dudes in here, except for these bitches. So I'm a German, eh? That's okay. You look like a fucking worm with braids. These leaders are the free world rookies. Lucky, pocket six dicks be pussies. Talking about six creek. Bitch, you could be a piss creek with paddles. This deep is still gonna sink. You're a disgrace. Yeah, they call me rabbit. This is a turtle race. You can't get with me spinning this shit. Wiggity, lickity, shot. The spooky, spooky, split, lickity. Then I'ma turn around with a great smile and walk my white ass back and forth eight miles. Yo, yo. Okay, okay. <laughs> he, he got this. He got this 100%. Last 
so I'll take pictures of my rear end so you won't forget my ass. And all's well that ends okay, so I'll end this shit with a fuck you, but have a nice day. My 10 year old self does not remember this, <laughs> but I can say, God damn it, yo. I really want to show this clip to like some new people out here who are dissing Eminem and be like, can your little fucking shitty rapper that you praise all day morning do this? Probably not. he was bringing up the whole tight tank top situation because it was pretty much more back then it was like you know loose tops not tight shirts and stuff but nowadays men be wearing the tightest shit ever man whatever floats your boat dude it's time we got Papa Doc and we got b rap now I don't even have to stress how important this is it's the championship we had this motherfucker this is what we came to see you know what I'm saying? That's why the fuck we in the deep. We represent. We at the shelter, goddammit. It's real. I hope y'all ready. This shit is about to be on the ground and loading up in this bitch. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta do this coin toss. And being that Papa Doc is a defending champion, you get to choose. What do you want to do? Heads or tags? Heads. Heads. Okay. Who goes first? Let that bitch go first. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't believe my ears. A lot of hostility. Pumping a lot of anger. All right, all right, all right. Hey, check this out. We got new rules. We got new rules. Being nice championship round. Each of these cats, they get a minute and a half a piece. I don't know what's going to happen. Be ready. You know what to do? DJ, kick that shit. Fucking bum. I 
do live in a trailer with my mom. Aww. My boy Future is an open time. I do got a dumb friend named Cheddar Bob who shoots himself in his leg with his own gun. I did get jumped by all six of you jumps. And we did fuck my girl. I'm still standing here screaming fuck the free world. Aww. You never try to judge me, dude. You don't know what the fuck I've been through. But I know something about you. You went to Cranbrook. That's a private school. What's the matter, dog? You in Paris? This guy's a gangster. His real name is Clarence. And Clarence gives a home to both parents. And Clarence's parents have a real good marriage. This guy don't want to battle. He's shook. Cause ain't no such things as that great book. He's scared to death. He's scared to look at his fucking yearbook. Fuck Cranbrook. Fuck a beat. I go on Capella. Fuck a Papa Doc, fuck a clock, fuck a trailer, fuck everybody. Fuck y'all if you doubt me. I'm a piece of fucking white trash, I say it proudly. And fuck this battle, I don't wanna win, I'm outy. Here, tell these people something they don't know about. Fucking destroyed him. I like that. He's like, yeah, I did this, I did that. He was honest. He said, this is what I did. Yes, I live with my mom. Yes, this, yes, that. Now this guy probably has nothing to say to him. Yeah. I love this. I love this so much. I think you could tell, but I have no words other than this was fucking amazing. It was an absolute legendary moment. Whew. It was good rewatching this 15 years later. Jesus. That was a long ass time. Whoa. Time flies, man. Time fucking flies. Try talk shit on Eminem again, dude. And I Nah, nah, nah. Back then, that's how it was. That's exactly how it was back in the day. Like freestyling, ciphers, battling each other one on one. Nowadays, you don't see that type of shit. There is no such thing as fucking freestyling anymore. You just got a bunch of ghost writers, people doing shit for you. You just fucking get given lyrics, rap it over the mic, record it, and it's a song. For me, you're not a real rapper if you don't write your own shit, first of all. And second of all, if you can't fucking freestyle, you ain't a rapper in my head. So, and the amount of the rappers that are out here in the industry could barely freestyle, like at all. Put them in a freestyle battle and they will not know what to do with themselves. So, or if they do freestyle, it's like written already. It's like already there. So, anyways, whew, I'm it. I've been exhausted, but I really felt that internal energy right there coming out of my fucking chest. <laughs> oh. 
Fuck these fucking headphones, bro. Thank God I wore headphones. I felt like I was there. By the end of this clip, I felt like I was there. I was with them. I miss this shit. I miss this kind of shit. No one gives a fuck. You wear what you want. You do whatever. You just go in your fucking PJs, man, and just have fun. You don't need to fucking stress dress yourself and wear tight ass shit and have to wear heels and all that crap. Like you just go in like this and do whatever you want. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see y'all in the next one.